Assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss the anatomy of a plexus which is found deep to the sternocleidomastoid and anteromedial to the levator scapulae that is the cervical plexus this plexus is formed by the contribution from C1 C2 C3 and C4 cervical spinal nerves the ventral rami of the cervical spinal nerves they contribute in the formation of roots of the cervical plexus after this e cervical spinal nerve except for c1 it divides into ascending and descending branch so you can see these are the ascending and descending branches of c2 c3 c and c4 respectively these branches they unite together in a fashion that they form the primary loops of the cervical plexus so this is the primary loop formed between c1 and c2 this is a primary loop formed between c2 and c3 and this primary loop is formed between c3 and c4 after the formation of these loops now what happens is that these two loops contribute in the formation of ansa cervicalis in such a way that loop formed between c1 and c2 it contributes to the formation of superior root of ansa cervicalis the loop between c2 and c3 it contributes in the formation of inferior root of the ansa cervicalis so this is ansa cervicalis a secondary loop which is formed between c1 c2 and c3 the purpose of this loop is to supply the infrahyoid muscles three out of four infrahyoid muscles so these become the motor supply to the omohyoid sternohyoid and sternothyroid the fourth infrahyoid muscle thyrohyoid gets its motor supply separately from c1 so this nerve to thyrohyoid is c1 in origin apart from that the next question arises about the sensory distribution or the cutaneous branches of the ansa cervicalis the main branches or the main loop which is responsible for the sensory is c2 to c3 the first branch which arises is the is the one contributed by the c2 which is the lesser occipital nerve this nerve is responsible for supplying the skin of the back of the neck and the occipital area or the area a small area of the skull its root value is c2 another nerve is contributed by c2 and c3 and its name is great auricular nerve this nerve is responsible for supplying the skin over the parotid gland its sheath skin over the mastoid process and the area of skin between the angle of the mandible and the mastoid root value is c2 c3 third contribution is also by c2 and c3 and the name of that nerve is transverse cervical nerve this nerve is responsible for supplying the anterior region of the neck by dividing into ascending and descending branches root value would be c2 to c3 a fourth sensory contribution comes from the branch which arises from c3 and c4 and it is supraclavicular nerve so its root value would be c3 and c4 lastly we will talk about the motor distribution uh, from the cervical plexus as we discussed the infrahyoid muscles which are supplied by the uh, branches of the ansa cervicalis and thyrohyoid which is supplied by a separate branch from the c1 c4 and contribution from c5 it supplies the rhomboids and the name of that nerve is dorsal scapular nerve
root value would be c4 and c5 another motor contribution going to the diaphragm is from contribution by c3 c4 and c5 and that is a phrenic nerve as we say the c3 c4 and c5 keep the diaphragm alive last contribution is to the branches few contribution also go to the prevertebral muscles and uh, another branch that supplies the serratus anterior muscle that is the contribution of c5 c6 and c7 which is the long thoracic nerve So just to quickly summarize, this is the um, simple illustration of the cervical plexus with contribution from mentor MI of C1, C2, C3 and C4. The black uh, branches which are, uh, they highlight the motor distribution and the branches which I have mentioned in green color, they show the sensory distribution of the cervical plexus. Thank you.